Hi, this is a quick update on another 1011 feature. These are knobs that have been enabled for auto negotiation, speed and device type, as well as uh, FEC mode. So let's take a little bit closer look at this. So the knobs, let's say when we're talking about speed and auto negotiation overrides, these are supported on the CX 8325 and the 8360. Uh, the speed can be changed on DACs, multi-speed optics, and third-party transceivers and AOCs. However, it's not supported on split ports, and it can be disabled on 25 gig, 40 gig, 50 gig, and 100 gig DACs. And with regards to four air, air control, this is supported on the CX 6300, 6400, 8325, the 8360, the 8400, 9300, and the 10,000. And this is supported with 25 gig and 100 gig uh, transceivers using NRZ signaling, as well as AOCs and DACs. Taking a little bit closer look at the details, when we're looking at the pre-1011 command structure, when we're talking about the speed controls, those controls uh, provided the user with three columns, the auto negotiation column, the duplex, and the speed column. And the non-auto negotiation speeds are displayed first uh, in the first menu, and the speeds are displayed in a separate menu. And when we're looking at the pre-1011 command structure for an error control, these uh, can, of course, can be configured separately from the speed command, and these are supported with 25 gig and 100 gig speeds, and these are supported on the CX 6300, 8325, 8360, and 10,000. But you'll notice with the error control command, when you run the question mark and you get your uh, list of options for your next command, you'll see that we had, had the clause numbers listed in the base artifact as well as the RS fact. Now with the new 1011 command structure and just sticking with the error control at the bottom of the page, really the CLI descriptions have been changed to be more generic. And so the, the clause names were simply removed. So if we look at that error control configuration on the right, when we do error control question mark, we still have the same options, but the clause names for base RFEC and RSFEC have been removed. And then going back to the overwrite uh, option, there's now a new over optional token, which is called overwrite for the speed command. And the user can put this at the end of their command to force the configuration. Uh, and all possible speeds the port is capable of above 10 gig will be listed even if the current transceiver doesn't support it. So take note of that. And only one speed option can be chosen with the override flag in that auto menu. Just kind of looking at the workflow on the right, you know, when we run a speed command, let's say we do speed 25 gig, you run the question mark, you've now got the override command option right there. Uh, in the next example, if we did the auto command and ran a question mark, you'd see the override command option there too. And then, of course, in the final one there, we do auto to 50 gig, and we still have that override option. So the override uh, option has really been added to the end of each of these commands to force that configuration. Now, just taking a look at some of the restrictions and limitations, you know, there are configurations that we really cannot allow if that hardware is incapable of being programmed that way. And in, in these cases, of course, an event log is going to be created and the port will be kept down. So invalid combinations of speed and auto negotiation will include things like if the speed override command cannot violate the existing interface group setting. And then supported optical transceivers and AOCs will not be allowed to use this override. It's really only allowed on supported DACs and unsupported transceivers. And then optical transceivers at one gig cannot use the auto negotiation. And with regards to error control, uh, error control is going to be ignored for invalid configurations, which would include uh, things like base R FEC for non 25 gig transceivers, uh, 10 and 40 gig transceivers, uh, 50, 100 gig, 200 gig, 40 gig, 400 gig transceivers, since they all use RSFEC and uh, 100 gig transceivers when auto negotiation is enabled. So that was a quick update on these new knobs. Uh, I hope that was helpful and have a good day. Thank you.